Really quick before we get started, I just wanted to thank Jane, who made and maintains a wonderful website full of extremely in-depth information, tools, and calculations. So if you're interested in learning more about the math behind all of this, please check out their website. There are many different links to different parts of it in the video description. There are a lot of stats in Neverwinter, and understanding them all and how they can affect your gameplay can seem daunting for new players. In this video, I'll go in-depth and explain these stats and how they work to hopefully give you a better understanding of your character. I'll mainly be covering things from a DPS player's perspective, as that is the role I primarily play, but I will include some stuff that will be helpful for healers and tanks too. This video will be aimed at new or fresh level 80s who are new to the game, but I'll try to include some information that even veteran players might not know, so stay tuned. Most stats in Neverwinter are designed around the idea of stats and counter stats. It varies a little, but the gist of the idea is that every stat will have an opposite counter stat. When you strike an enemy, the game subtracts the enemy's counter stat value from your stats, which is then converted into some kind of multiplier. The easiest way to visualize this is with critical strike. When you strike an enemy, their critical avoidance is subtracted from your critical strike, then that value is converted into your critical strike percentage. None of these stats can leave you with a negative number, so you can't have a negative critical strike chance for example. Most stats also have an internal cap of some kind. Crit chance, for example, cannot exceed 50%. So, what stats are counters to what? Defense is subtracted from armor penetration, critical avoidance from critical strike, accuracy from deflect, and awareness from combat advantage bonus. It's important to remember that power doesn't have a counter stat and doesn't have a cap, so most players will push to get power as high as possible. Now that we have the basics covered, let's talk about how these stats actually work, starting with power. Power is the simplest stat to explain and to understand. It translates directly into our healing or damage dealt, has no cap, and has no diminishing returns. It is however subject to a relative decrease in value based on the power we already have when calculating an actual damage or healing increase. Simply put, 1000 power will be worth less when we have 200,000 power than it would be when we have 100,000 power. There's a tool linked in the description that can actually calculate that decrease in value so you can find out exactly what a given power increase will translate to in terms of a percentage damage increase. Armor penetration is the most important stat to cap in terms of actual damage output, and it negates a target's defense. It's important to remember when talking about armor pen that the maximum damage negated from defense is 50%. This means that at zero armor penetration, our attacks are having their damage reduced by the enemy's defense by 50%. In order to negate this, our armor penetration must match or exceed the target's defense. Accuracy is also very important and counters a target's deflect chance. Deflect chance is capped at 50%. This means that like armor penetration, at zero accuracy our attacks will be deflected on average 50% of the time. A deflected attack only does half damage, so assuming zero accuracy, our damage will be reduced by a total of around 25%. Combat Advantage is one of the most complicated of all the stats, and requires the player to position themselves correctly in order to get the full benefit. There are many things that can give the player the Combat Advantage bonus, but the easiest is to simply position yourself so that you're flanking or behind an enemy. Once in position, or given the bonus from some other source, it buffs your damage dealt to that target based on the difference of your Combat Advantage stat and the enemy's Awareness stat. 1000 combat advantage above an enemy's awareness translates to a 1% damage increase, capping out at 100%. This means that you can deal an extra 100% damage based solely on your positioning. The last thing I want to cover is magnitude. Magnitude is a measure of how hard something will hit, and it's all calculated from your base weapon damage. 100 magnitude is equal to 100% of your weapon damage, 150 is 150%, 200 is 200, and so on. This means that weapon damage is extremely important for DPS classes seeing as a weapon's damage stat directly influences the amount of damage you deal with every attack. Now that we know what most of the stats do, you might be asking yourself, how do I know what an enemy's counter stat value is so that I can effectively balance my stats accordingly? Well the answer is pretty easy. First let's define high and low ratings. High ratings are an enemy's critical strike, combat advantage, defense, and deflection. These stats range from 68,000 in Lair of the Mad Mage and below, to 90,000 in Zeriel's Challenge. Low ratings are an enemy's armor penetration, accuracy, critical avoidance, and awareness, and these range from 18,000 to 40,000. Taking into account the information explained earlier, maximum desired stats can be calculated for specific content to minimize waste. For example, when running Zeriel's Challenge, enemies will have 90,000 defense. 
To counter this, we want 90,000 armor penetration. Anything above 90,000 will be wasted, seeing as armor penetration has no additional effect other than negating an enemy's 50% damage reduction. On screen now is a table showing you optimal stats for specific content. Remember that these stats are your targets and that you should try to get as close to these as possible to minimize waste while still doing the most damage. 